Yo, what's going on guys welcome back to tower of god new world now in today's video i wanted to talk about a unit that everyone has been talking about lately which is punisher Rin. now the reason why i'm making a video talking about this unit is because i feel like there's a lot of you know beginner players who don't really understand the potential of this character and like they don't really understand how he works so when we take a look at punisher Rin's kit come over here to characters and then punisher Rin. So the reason why this unit is so good is because of his passive. Like we look at his passive, the fact that he gets 40% physical and magic resistance increase is completely stupid. Like the fact that he already gets a physical and magic resistance boost through his passive pretty much allows you to go over 100% uh, of physical and magic resistance. Uh, plus we got the, the major buff to these two stats. And this pretty much makes like the most this pretty much makes physical and magic resistance the most busted stats in game. I will say that all of these characters right here, you can literally put magic and physical resistance on them and they will run perfectly. Like you can put physical and magic resistance on Joaquin. You can put you can do the same thing for Kase. You can do the same thing for multiple units. Doesn't matter. As long as the unit has very, very good survivability. Not not really good survivability, but Magic and physical resistance pretty much allows multiple units to have great survivability. So it's like a good universal stat for pretty much every single character in game. If you're grinding for, you know, ignition weapons and you can't get the specific stat that you need for a character, let's say Child Yuri. I just got this unit, by the way. But let's say for this unit, you're trying to get crit damage increase and you're trying to get physical pierce. You can't get that. So running physical and magic resistance on her while you're trying to get uh crit damage increase and physical pierce would be you know the smartest thing to do so that's one of the main things i really like about the two stats is when you're grinding for another ignition weapon if you're grinding for a specific stat you can put on magic and physical resistance while you're grinding for those stats now for punisher in um the set that i am using on him is attack speed and you can put there are two ways you can play with characters you can put crit damage increase and their element type damage increase or you can just run physical and magic resistance for a punisher in i highly advise you guys to go for uh the physical and magic resistance because the fact that you get the 40 percent through his passive if i look over here to stats you guys can see how high my physical and magic resistance is so you like the chances of you going over 100 percent is very very um is very likely because of uh the passive the 40 percent additional magic and physical resistance so punisher is literally like the embodiment of you know physical and magic resistance and another good thing about this unit is his survivability is insane the fact that he's able to summon you know another creature on the battlefield you basically have six teammates you have punisher in you have four of your other allies and then you have his uh cre his summon creature which is the bull that the bull is just completely tanky like it is such a tanky unit because punisher in is constantly healing up the bull and the bull is doing good damage it's just insane overall plus we look at his ultimate if we come down over here it literally says that punisher in decreases the enemy's magic resistance by 40 percent for 10 seconds that is absolutely broken the fact that he is shredding the enemy's magic resistance by 40 percent and then you add that with uh the new endorse unit come down over here to green element you add that with this unit right here you look at her skill right if we come over here to hard zone look at this decreases magic resistance of enemies within the zone by 30 percent and increases the cash's physical resistance by 10 percent and magic resistance by 10 percent per enemy so you're pretty much shredding the enemy's magic resistance by 70% when you're pairing Endorsey up with Punisher in. That is completely broken. So that's why I feel like uh, for Punisher in, you don't really have to run a uh, crit damage increase and magic pierce because you're shredding the enemy's magic resistance so much to the point where just using attack speed set on him and running magic and physical resistance is the way to go. So my punisher is currently at three red stars and of course i'm going to show you guys some gameplay i'm currently on a boss stage right now but i'm definitely thinking about maxing out this unit 100 percent uh if we come over here to his revolution tier four it says punisher will not be targeted for six six seconds at the start of the battle very very good for survivability and then for tier five it says 
he becomes invincible while using excitement which is his special move so these two right here these two tiers pretty much increases his survivability which make which makes him a tank god like he is literally the tankiest dps unit in this entire game so let's go ahead do some gameplay real quick currently on a uh, floor 46 stage 44 and this is a boss stage now this is a perfect example right here we have flight eric mazano we have data mashini we have lero and you guys are gonna see how punisher in just completely dominates this team we might not win this but I just want to show you guys how strong this character is. He is just absolutely overpowered. And that's why I recommended you guys to summon for him. There's a reason why. Because he is worth it. He is good long term. Like I don't see any time in the future where Punisher in is not going to be used. Like I feel like Punisher in will remain in the meta for a very, very, very long time. The fact that he can summon, you know, another creature on, a ba on the battlefield. And he has insane survivability. Pair that up with SR plus Yiwa and Endorsey. He's just broken, man. Absolutely busted. Makes him one of the most cracked units in the, in the game alongside with Kaiser. Um, For Kaiser, I feel like Kaiser, she's like the most busted DPS unit in the game. But when it comes to survivability, Kaiser, she is not the best when it comes to survivability. But her damage is absolutely broken. So look at that right there. Instantly cleared that. Absolutely amazing. And I forgot to mention uh, Lero, Child Lero. He is a very good addition to um, the Green Element team because he, if you have his Revolution Tier 4 and 5, he can pretty much increase uh, the team's defense by 200%, which is very good for Endorsey. And he can increase um, Allies' Magic Pierce, which is good for Punisher in. So, absolutely amazing. Uh, great element team right there. Let's see if we can actually win this. Uh, VV is still alive, which is very, very good. Ended up dying. Very, very, very um, surprising right there. But we're going to reach out at real quick. Let's see for round three. Now, I'm still running um, 7 Deadly Sins collaboration team. Uh, it's still strong. It's still very, very good overall. As you guys can see, Meliodas is doing some good damage right there. A uh, Vile. I think we can take out Vile. Hopefully. Yeah, we can definitely take him out. Seven Deadly Sins uh, team is still strong. Like, it is still very, very, very strong team. Especially if you have Meliodas maxed out. But in this team, I'm pretty much using Kaiser and Red Element team for some more damage. And then we have Vicente. It's pretty much uh, one-shot the enemy so that we can get that additional energy from uh, support who is passive. So this is not a bad team overall. As you guys can see, Kaiser eliminating enemies very, very easily right there. And Gusting is dead. Actually, I think that was Blunk. So we cleared round four. Let's go back to round two. I think we can easily clear this. Yeah, we can we can easily clear this for sure. It's purple team comp. Purple team comp is literally the strongest team in the entire game. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a fact. That's like at this point, it's a fact. Like, purple team comp is by far the most busted team comp in game. Very, very powerful and extremely free-to-play friendly. So Kasei was able to one tap. Uh, one guy right there she was also able to get rid of punisher in and that is why kaseya is so useful is because the fact that she can one tap enemies in the back row very very helpful for your entire team so let's go ahead and check out the stats real quick let's check out the damage coming from um all the teams that i use right now so if we come over here we look at green team comp 22 billion damage coming from punisher in not surprised and look how much damage Lero took 4 billion damage. SSR plus Yua is no joke. Like, she is by far the most busted healer in the game. The completely meta. Now, for purple team, we got 5 billion coming from Kaseya, uh, 7 billion coming from Joaquin. And then looking at 7 Daily Sense team, we got 11 billion. Not bad. And then for this team, we got 17 billion coming from uh, Kaiser. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and do some more stages because. Um, I rarely show you guys gameplay, so we're going to go through some more stages. I'm almost done with this floor, getting closer to floor 47. Uh, hopefully, I can make it to floor 50 by the end of this week, but can't make a promise there. So hopefully that happens. But purple team, man, every time I use purple team, it's a guaranteed win. Just look at this, man. Insane. A VV attack speed right there. Now... 
the next unit i'm thinking about investing in when it comes to revolution like the next uh, ssr character i think i'm gonna go for uh kaseya's tier 5 and then i might go for a uh, gia gia tier 4 because the red element attack increase is very very good I want to be very beneficial for uh jen sung so i'm still thinking about it you know because we have resources and uh, i'm not i'm not gonna call myself a free-to-play player but i will say that i'm like a dolphin i use money when i have to for example a seven deadly sins collaboration i use money i spent money for seven deadly sins and for the anniversary i also spent money as well i only spent like four dollars to get the tickets to summon for yiwa but that's pretty much it so i consider myself as a dolphin but when it comes to you know buying resources i don't really do that i use the game's resources and i grind for that so i think i have like 300 or 400 um revolution fragments as of to right now so i have to use it wisely i have to use it wisely but we have a me sing right there and eh, we're gonna clear that anyways because kasey is gonna teleport in the back row and eliminate all the enemies there so this is a guaranteed w that dead right there lozelle dead that's two enemies dead already plus you have vargar for provocation this team is so disgusting man so disgusting and that's why i recommend uh beginner players you guys definitely want to start off with a purple team comp because it is good long term very very good and very very strong and it's a team with ssr characters only realize how there is not a single SSR plus unit in this team. There's only SSR characters. That's why I really like a purple team comp because it only includes SSR units. If you don't have Karaka, you can just put in Vargar. That's pretty much all the gameplay I want to show you guys. I'm going to do the boss stage later, but that's pretty much the reason why Punisher is absolutely broken and why, you know, everybody should, you know, summon for this unit and invest in him. If I come over here to nonstop, we have one summon right here. Hopefully I can get a copy real quick. Come on. Let's go, man. Let's go. But this is the reason why he's so busted. The fact that he gets that 40% magic and physical resistance through his passive. He shreds the enemies of magic resistance. He summons, you know, a pet bull in the battlefield, which pretty much makes that pet bull like a six, you know, unit on the battlefield. It's just completely broken. So Punisher in very, very strong SSR plus unit. I hope that, you know, most of you guys, you know, went for this guy because you won't regret it. There's a reason why I said you should go for Punisher in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase his attack right here to make him do some more damage. Because we don't have that crit damage in Magic Pierce. So increasing his attack is uh, very important. But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, today's video. Just wanted to talk about this unit, show you guys some gameplay, and that's pretty much it. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.